The traditions, my brothers and sisters, are crystal clear on this regard. The traditions of Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam, and they help us understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, understanding Allah azza wa is a crucial issue because if I misunderstand my God, I might get to a point where I lose hope in Him. Correct? I might get to a point where I, God forbid, God forbid, hate my God because I've misunderstood Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many people believe, many people believe that if they're afflicted with problems, it means Allah hates them. When? That's not the case. Allah says, Kalla. Nay. You've misunderstood me. When we come to the traditions of Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salam, Ahlul Bayt, salamullah alayhim, tell you that the more faith you have, the greater your faith, the greater your calamities will be. So the closer you are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greater your trials or tasks or calamities will be. Hence you find that Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam, the closest servants of God, received the most bitterful calamities. There are many traditions to read on this regard, but with, my, with the limited time we have, I want to shed light on one tradition before we go to the lady of tragedies, Sayyida Al-Hawra Zainab, Salawatullahi alayha. <clears throat> we have a tradition in Al-Kafi by Imam Abu Ja'far al-Baqir alayhi salam. In it he says, Inna Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala Iza ahabba abdan Ghattahu bil balai ghatta he says, surely if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves a particular slave of his, what does he do? He says, غَتَّهُ بِالْبَلَاءِ غَتَّهُ One of the meanings of this word is, Allah overwhelms that slave with trials. So he doesn't bestow, you know, a simple trial on you. No, he overwhelms you with trials then he says وَثَجَّهُ بِالْبَلَاءِ one of the interpretations of this word is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pours calamities or trials on that individual to the point the person feels as if he's suffocating he feels a state of distress as if he's suffocating so what the imam wants to tell us is when Allah loves one of his slaves, he puts him through a significant amount of trials. Significant amount of trials and or calamities. Then he says, فَإِذَا دَعَى When this particular slave who's overwhelmed with trials, overwhelmed with problems, when this slave supplicates, you know, you get to a point where you can't take it anymore, right? Or you feel like you can't take it anymore. So you call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is beautiful. What happens when you supplicate and you call upon Allah? Listen carefully. The tradition is very important. The Imam says, alayhi salam, if he calls upon God, qala, Allah says, labbayk abdi. Labbayk. Labbaik means what? It means I'm at your service. In Hajj, we say Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, right? We're at your service, O oh Allah. We are at your service. We worship you. We are his slaves. We must be at his service. We must worship him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But here you find Allah Azza wa Jal, the merciful Lord, addressing his slave, telling him Labbaik Abdi. I'm at your service, my slave. Meaning, I'm willing to fulfill your wishes. I'm willing to give you whatever you want. So then Allah says, لَإِنْ عَجَلْتُ لَكَ مَا سَأَلْتَا إِنِّي عَلَى ذَلِكَ لَقَادِرٌ 
He says, if I quickly give you what you're asking me, then know that surely I am able to do so. Meaning, if I, Allah, see that it is wiser to give you what you want at the moment, I will give it to you for I have the power to do it. Then he says, he says, وَلَئِنِ اتَّخَرْتُ لَكَ فَمَا اتَّخَرْتُ لَكَ فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكَ He says, however, if I do not give you what you want on the spot, I delay the fulfillment of your request, then know that I am storing, I am saving something for you, and whatever I am saving for you is better for you. Here, when the Imam talks about Allah saving, storing something for us, this thing that has been stored might be given in a dunya or might be given in the hereafter. In both cases, it will be better than what we've asked from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.